You know, I think it's common to have concerns that narrowing down your audience focus is going to mean less opportunity to uncover leads because you're not putting as many fishing lines in the water, which means you're pulling less people in and you're missing revenue opportunities. And I think that that is a misnomer because again, if you're going into this really crowded market and you're trying to be everything to everyone, your message is not resonating and as impactful as it could be. And I've, I've seen this play out. I've made this mistake, you know, back in the day when I was on the corporate side, you know, I wasn't, was looking at it like we need to build up a database for our total addressable market. And I happened to be working in the network security space. So trying to break through the clutter and tell people we've got this network security solution that's going to solve your problems. There was so much competition out there that it was hard to get traction. Because at the end of the day, we didn't necessarily stand out from the many other solutions that were there. And years later, you know, and having worked with many clients at growth mode and seeing how buying has changed, how many more solutions have come out there, you know, how challenging it is to do really good marketing that actually gets momentum. We're finding like narrowing down that audience and being more specific and intentional and focused in our messaging and forgetting about everybody else in the total addressable market actually gets the traction and gets more attention because it speaks more to an individual company than to everybody. Right. And then that individual company is going to be more likely to buy because they know you're an expert in their field or you speak their language, you know their problems. And so you're more likely to make that sale. 